Um, so today we're talking about the health food related um, animal testing. So PETA is leading this effort to um, stop animal testing in the health food industry in Taiwan. So we got this two pronged approach. On one end, we're asking the Taiwan Food and Drug Administration to stop um, recommending and accepting animal tests from its regulations. And on the other end, we are asking the food companies to establish policies banning all animal tests that are not explicitly required by law. And this is a huge problem because currently Taiwan has uh, 15 um, health food related regulations and most of them, the, the, the companies can choose to conduct either human test or animal test. So the animal tests are not required by law, but companies would do it because it's cheaper, it's faster, it's easier. For the last 20 years, like since the inception of the, the regulations, um, there are about 20 to 30,000 animals that are used just for the efficacy test to substantiate the health claims for foods. For the safety test for the health foods, um, altogether you're looking at about 100,000 altogether for the last 20 years. I'll give you two examples. So the anti-fatigue um, health claim regulation used to recommend two animal tests. One of them is called the forced swim test. The other one is called the treadmill running test. So for the forced swim test, experimenters would drop mice or rats into beakers filled with water and watch how long they struggle before they drown or remain underwater for eight consecutive seconds. And if the animals learn to float and conserve energy, the experimenters will stir the water to force them to struggle. And to speed up the process of drowning, they would tie lead wires to their tails so to make it harder for them to struggle. If a rat or mouse um, would struggle for longer after they consume the, the product of interest, the food, and if they struggle for longer, meaning that they take longer to drown, that supposedly means that the food has an effect on how well it exercises. Um, Taiwan is very different from the Western countries, but not so much from the East. So the regulatory agencies in the European Union, in the United States, in Canada, they all require safe and effective human tests for substantiating health claims for foods. They don't require animal tests. Um, in Asia, we know that at least Japan and Korea, they still accept animal test data for health claims. China not only would accept it, they actually demand animal tests. And for the anti-fatigue health claim, it's the exact same cruel force swim test. And it took us about two to three years um, because the, the government reviews the regulation one by one. And as soon as we call the one that they are going to review one of the regulations, we submit our scientific um, critique on the animal test at the agency's request. And we mobilized more than 73,000 members and supporters to write emails to the agency. And that convinced um, the TFDA, the Taiwan FDA, to remove animal tests from the anti-fatigue health claim regulation. So in addition to avoiding products that has the little green man symbol that's with specifically with animal test data, um, people can also take actions through our website that convince um, the government, the Taiwan government and also the Taiwan um, health food companies to uh, ban animal tests. And people can sign our action alert through our website um, at PETA.org.